welcome to the Empress Kita Show. We have here <laughs> Amari. She's big shy, y'all. Amazing chef, guys. You're gonna check out her page. I'm gonna link everything below. We're about to get down in the kitchen. She's a chef goddess of the land of Chicago. <laughs> Please. I'm excited. I, I only ate a salad. Amari just told me that thighs is the way to go because it's got the flavor. Right, so if you're making something where you're like braising a dish or you know, cooking something where you're adding flavor like chicken and rice or a stew or soup, you always want to use the thigh because it has more flavor. It's connected to the bone. Anything with bone is going to have more flavor. But you can use your breast, you know, if you're just trying to be leaner and healthier. But if you want some flavor, get your thigh. You know, I just started eating shrimp. Oh Lord. You know, I'm not trying to... No, because I thought I'm allergic to fish, right? I had already started eating crab years ago. So now I was like, let me try shrimp. And I was fine. It's so bad. Oh yes, yeah, keep coming in. Oh, this is good. Oh, we're gonna start off by telling y'all what we're making. We're making a Cajun pasta. You know, we got the bell peppers, the onions, and the celery, which makes up makes up the holy trinity. You know, you know what the holy trinity is? The Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> in cooking in the <laughs> South, this is considered the Holy Trinity. It's like a staple to black people. It's celery, green peppers, and white onions. But this is like the base of all Southern cooking. I love the Holy Trinity. I put it almost in every single thing that I can possibly make. The Father, <laughs> the Son, <laughs> the Holy Spirit. First, we're gonna season this chicken, and then we're gonna cut up our veggies. All right, so we got a bunch of spices here. This is our ghetto eat cooking section. So please don't start asking if y'all no measurements, okay? Cause this, I don't know. She done. I don't know. I'm using kosher salt. I always wanna use kosher salt number one, two, or sea salt because it can fit in your fingers. So that was like a tablespoon of garlic powder, a little lemon pepper, some, uh, what's this? Oregano. Mm -hmm. And then we're also gonna add in a little bit of, uh, slap your mouth. Cause I should've slapped your mouth yesterday. That's a little Creole seasoning. A little old um, Tony's Creole seasoning. Don't wanna put a whole lot of salt. Has the balance of the salt. I love black pepper. And then I'm using a little bit of cayenne pepper. I'm gonna just take a whole lemon. I'm just gonna squeeze it in there, but. Mm. Now I'm just adding a little bit of oil. Not a whole lot. Just a little to mix it with it moist. Oh. This one? I'm not even going to. Slow speed. Chefs be like. You put your make an L, thumb here, pointy finger there. The remaining fingers go on your knife. The safest way to hold your knife. Then you're gonna take your knife and you're just gonna go into a rocking motion. Rock the boat, rock the boat. Mm -hmm. Cutting your fingers off. So if I did cut myself, I wouldn't this. I would just cut my knuckle. So now that is what guides my hand. So we're starting off with this hot pan, right? It's hot pan, okay? I'm gonna pour a little bit of oil. You always wanna heat up your pan before you add your oil in. That's gonna prevent your oil and your butter from burning. Then we're just gonna give that a second to get hot. Look at this chicken. Y'all see it? I'm just gonna... Ooh! So we're just gonna sear that on both sides, and then we'll take it out and let it finish in the oven while we work on something else. Our chicken is ready! We're gonna take our chicken, put it in the oven. We just seared it on both sides. And then we're just gonna let that sear. Now we got our chicken in the oven, we are gonna go ahead, <laughs> we are gonna saute this uh, garlic. So we, we wanna get all that flavors on up out of there. It should be a Bailey's. Bailey's, baby, they add flavors. This is so fun. Now we're gonna go ahead and get started with our sausage. We just finished up our veggies. So go ahead and drop that sausage in there. Ooh, sizzle, sizzle, baby. Sizzle. Oh, it's hot. It's hot. It needs a little oil. Just a drop. It's hot. Okay, cause it's already got a lot of fat in it. And we're just gonna get some color on those. Alrighty, y'all. I don't know if y'all can see you, but this sausage is Ready. It's pop, pop, popping everywhere. So this cast iron skillet is kind of small, which is why it's taking a little bit longer. The peppers. The peppers. Oh. Ooh, it looks so good. It's kind of hungry. Oh, it's hot. Oh, it's hot. Oh, it's hot. 
Alrighty, y'all, so now we are back and better than ever. We're gonna start with some butter. <laughs> Okay. And we're just gonna dump some butter in there, okay? I love the way that looks melting like that. Okay. And I'm just taking a little bit of the crushed red pepper and I'm cooking it some because I'm gonna cook off some of that tomato acidity and rawness and that's just gonna bring out a little bit more flavor. I'm gonna pour season with some salt and pepper. I'm so excited. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of chicken broth. Yes, honey. Now I'm just gonna transfer this into the bigger pot. All right, now while that's cooking down, I'm gonna take my shrimp shell. I'm just gonna dump some in and get the flavors out of here. Oh, day. 